Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at this table right here and uh, we are going to uh, create it with the use of, uh, of the Wellment features and also the uh, 3D sketches. Uh, 3D sketches are going to be used to define the framework and then create the structural members containing groups of sketch segments and um, and the weldment is just to create the structure of a uh, as a single multi-body part so uh, let's begin let's create a new part so uh, i have created the um, the bomb right here for the different types of um, structural members so we, we will refer to this table um later on okay so let's create a new part the units for this uh table is on millimeters so we can change it right here millimeters and um so the first thing is we're going to select sketch and then 3d sketch um and i'm going to select the rectangle here and select the center point. So if you notice right now, I'm on the X, Y plane, X, Y plane. If I want to change this um, to another plane, for example, the Z, X, I can just hit on the tap, tap key and um, it'll, um, it'll keep changing the planes. So this is the view that I would like to sketch my uh, first uh, rectangle so this is uh, going to be the overall uh, dimension of the table so let's provide a dimension here um, so this is going to be 1500 millimeters by 1500 millimeters so this is the uh, the overall dimension of the plane so um so now I'm going to create a reference plane to um, for the um, for the height of the um, table. So click on reference geometry and click on plane. The first reference is going to be the top plane, and the distance is going to be 1,000. This this is the height of the of the table so let's hit okay once we're here we can click on sketch and i'm going to select with the control key all these four lines and then um, convert entities so that way i don't have to redraw um, those lines so once i have that i can create the legs the legs of the um, of the table so i have this um, framework on the top so now i'm gonna start working on the on the legs so since i already have the height i'm just going to connect the the two points so you can just uh, click on the corners and connect the two lines okay so we can even hide the um, we can hide this plane okay and um, we don't need the bottom um, sketch anymore so we can just um, hide that as well Uh, next, I'm going to uh, sketch the this uh, reinforcement here at the at the corners, and uh, to do that, I'm just going to select one more time 3D sketch, and um, I'm going to select that line with the um, select this line here. 
So I'm going to select these two lines and uh, the dimensions, this, this is at 300 millimeters and the angle between these two is uh, 45 degrees. Okay. So similarly, I'm going to create another uh, sketch on the other side and the dimension of this is again 300. And the um, the angle between these two is going to be 45 as well. Okay. So we have those two already defined, and um, can hit OK. So once we're here, we can um, we can mirror this select the um so let me go back inside the sketch and select this entity and mirror mirror about the front plane okay so we have that one now i can select this one more time and mirror about the other okay Similarly, I can use this one here to mirror um, this line to the right plane, and we we get a an error or a conflict. So it is over over defined. So maybe we can click on one of these and delete. So that will um that will remove the error. Uh, now let's mirror this entity right here and um, the plane we're going to use is the front plane for that one so we have these two corners now we need to work on on the other on the other two um, right plane actually um, mirror entities and then mirror about the right plane so that's that one and we need another line which is this one here mirror about the right plane okay so we got another uh, conflict because it is over constrained so we can just select one of those and um, and delete so we have a um, the framework almost completed so if i if i refer back to the um the table so we need these two members also sketch so again we're going to select the line and um, connect those two points and um, similarly we're going to do this one here the distance of uh, this line to the um, to the edge this is uh, 500 millimeters same thing on the other side okay we can hit okay and uh, now we have a um, the complete framework for the table so the next step will be to to use the weldment feature to start um, applying the um, bringing the structural members to the to the table. If you don't have the weldment feature, on you can uh, right click and select tabs and um, check mark the weldment. So let's go to Weldment, and we're going to select the Structural Member option right here. So once you click on, on, on this feature, um, we need to specify which member uh, we are using. So let me go back to the um, bomb right here, and this is going to be uh, 
the description description is what we're going to be using. So if you look at this uh, one, one and four, they are using a W4 by 13 uh, W beam. So so let's select that W4 by 13. So this is going to be the ANSYS and uh, W section. And right here we can select W4 by 13. And under groups, we're going to select the the framework that um, is going to require that beam. So these two members at the middle is going to be a new group. So let's click on new group. And since we're using the same beam type, we can just select that and we can hit OK. So now you see the corners, how they have been um, closed. So if you want to change that, you can go back to the structural member feature and edit. And there is an option here for the corner treatment. So, so right now we have selected the uh, the miter and miter, but you have uh, other options like um, this one here. And uh, just for reference, you can see how it was uh, changed. Um, I like the other one better. So let me go back to edit feature and um, select the miter and connection. So the next uh, structural members that we are going to apply are the legs. So we can refer back to the um, to the bomb and the legs are number two right here. And the, the type is uh, TS two by two by a quarter of an inch. So let's go to structural member and um, uh, two square and it is uh, two by two by um, a quarter of an inch. So the first group is going to be the legs. So you can see right there and um, let's create a new group for the brace right here. So if you notice, uh, if I want to select this one here, it's not going to do anything. And that's because this is, um, we have to uh, create a new group for each corner. Okay. So that's two. Let's create a new group. Three. And now the last group right here. And let's hit okay. Um, if you notice, these uh, beams are protruding into, um, they are clashing into each other. So, so we need to fix that. So, the f so let's fix the legs first. So there is an option here for, um, uh, to fix that. And it is the trim feature. So first we're going to select the bodies to be trim and the leg, this is going to be trim. And, um, and the boundary condition is, is this, um, structural member. So if you, if you see, um, that has been fixed. So I'm, I'm just going to do the same for all of them. So that's number two. I'm going to select the pin right here so I can keep it visible after I click on okay. So let's work on this one here. That's fine. And finally, we have this one here. And let's hit OK. The next items that we have to um, that we have to fix is are these uh, bracing uh, beams. So the first thing I would like to do is uh, rotate the the beams. So let's go to uh, edit feature and under the angle rotate um, option, it's going to rotate this by 45. Actually, I think I selected the wrong beam. So let, let me, uh, 
So we're looking at this one here. So let me go back to um, edit feature. So we need to make sure that we have selected the, the right group. So this is the, the group that I want to rotate. So, so right here, let's make it 45. So now this is a straight. I'm just gonna keep this visible, select the... So that's how I want it. So the next, the next group that I would like to rotate is group number three. So if I go back to um, the angle option, it's going to be 45. So now group four, which is that one right there, change this also to 45. And the last group is the other corner, make this 45. Okay. So that's the first fix. So now we need to fix this uh, clashing right here. So it's going to be the same, uh, we're going to apply the same steps. So let's keep this visible. And um, this is the body to be trimmed and the, um, the boundary condition is, is these two. So now you can see this has been trimmed. So actually I can do these two at the same time, but um, since I already did this one here, I'm just gonna do this one um, separately. So, and this is the second one. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two. So the bodies to be trimmed is uh, these two, and the limits are this, as you can see. Uh, oh, I didn't select this uh, this beam right here for, for this one. So I'm just going to do it one more time. And let's hit OK. So now let's do uh, this group right here. So I'm going to select that one and that one. And the boundary condition is these two and that vertical support. OK. Finally, we have these two. Select these two and let's hit OK. Oops, uh, I don't think I, um, oh, I think I know what happened here. So if you, if you see the, this beam, this, this one hasn't been rotated. So I need to rotate that. Um, so I need to rotate this. So um, let's go back to the uh, tube square. Just want to make sure that I have selected the right group, which is group number five, and make this um, 90 degrees probably. And um, we can see now it is uh, straight. I think it was already um, straight before, and for some reason, um, I change it back to, uh, to 45. So um, so let's trim this one here. So let's select these two. And the uh, boundary condition are these two. And let's hit OK. So now that should be good. Uh, let me just double check that we have covered all the, um, all, all the reinforcements. And that looks fine to me. And um, so this is how you will um, create this table for uh, using the uh, weldments and the 3D sketch features. Um, so I hope I hope you liked it and uh, enjoy. And uh, thank you for watching.